Hello YouTube, welcome to another video from FS Pro in a series of videos on how to improve the scenery in X-Plane 10. These videos will show you how to go from this to this for less than the price of a good latte. In the last video I showed how to install a new mesh, specifically the HD Mesh Scenery version 3 from Alpilot X. In today's show I'll explain how to apply new textures. The way that you do this in X-Plane is wonderfully easy and the steps I provide here will work in both the Windows and Mac versions of X-Plane. In simple terms what we do is to store new textures in a folder under our X-Plane installation folder called Custom Scenery. Whatever we store in here takes priority over the default X-Plane Scenery. Next we update a file called scenerypacks.ini by inserting a line that refers to our added textures. The location of the line is important because it establishes the order in which textures are applied. It's important to apply the mesh before applying the texture, for example. The order that the scenery is applied in is from the bottom upwards. That's why we have the HD mesh from my last video at the very bottom. Here's a good reference to use when deciding what order to place your custom scenery in. It also includes a clear description of how it all works. That's all the theory we need, so next we need to acquire some textures. One way to acquire them is to visit this site. Here you can see how they divided Europe into one degree squares that match the areas that are stored in X-Plane. You could download the data for one of these squares, install it into X-Plane and you're done. But there are a couple of things to consider. Firstly, the squares provide data at what's called zoom level 16. Here's an example of what that looks like. Images provided by simheaven.com. Here's a version at zoom level 17, a version at zoom level 18, and a version at zoom level 19. Secondly, the area you want textures for may not be provided. If we check the map we can see that Jersey isn't covered. We're going to have to get textures for this elsewhere. Currently you can get zoom level 16 textures for the Channel Islands, which includes Jersey, from this location. Because we're using an area mostly covered by water which isn't photo mapped, the file is only 66 and a half megabytes in size. Download it and extract it into your custom scenery folder. Next, to make sure it gets loaded, add the following line into your scenerypacks.ini file, which is located in your X-Plane 10 custom scenery folder. It should be placed immediately above the entry for the HD mesh that we added in my last video. Let's take a look at a comparison video to show how our new textures will look compared with the standard X-Plane textures. All in all then, a great improvement. There's one final thing you may wish to consider before applying textures. Performance. Adding in custom scenery may impact performance, but the only way to know for sure is to check what the frame rate is both before and after making changes. Here's how you can do that. With X-Plane running, select Settings, Data Input and Output. In the resulting dialog, choose Frame Rate, which is the first option at top left of the dialog window. Close the dialog by clicking the X. 
you'll now see the frame rate shown in the top left of your screen in X-Plane. What frame rate should you aim for? Good question. And debate can rage around this one. You may notice, for example, that there's been a surge amongst YouTubers proudly proclaiming HD videos at 60 frames per second. Is this important? Here are some facts that may guide you on what FPS setting is appropriate for you. Number one, motion pictures are filmed at 24 frames per second or 25 frames per second in some European countries. Number two, TV currently uses three main frame rates. That's 24, 25 and 30. Number three, the human eye cannot tell the difference between 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second. Number four, but the brain can. Check out this site that offers this same video shot at 15, 30 and 60 frames per second to enable visual comparison. Can you see a difference? You may consider that the 60 frame per second video is smoother, more fluid, less blurry. Is this important to you? Only you can decide. For me, I set my target at no less than 30 frames per second. This means that I'll tweak my custom scenery and my rendering settings until I achieve that minimum. Now, just in case you're wondering, here are the X-Plane rendering options that I'm currently using. I've also provided my machine specs in the show notes below. Before I applied the Zoom Level 16 textures, I was achieving 57 frames per second. After applying the textures, I achieved 59 frames per second, which is an amazing increase in performance. Better textures with better performance? I wish all decisions were this easy. Join me next time when I'll show you not only how to create your own textures, but also how to create them at a much higher resolution. Thanks for watching. <laughs>